everyone back again with another installment on my Christmas book uh, yes it is a rubber band <laughs> all right so while the camera was off I got a box in the mail from a friend and there was this adorable Christmas tree in the box and I could not help myself it had to go in the front of my book that was not a plan that was hatched couple days ago it was like as soon as I saw it bam I put glue on it and glued it on the book because it was too stinking cute not to so like I said while the camera was off I was doing other things with my book because I kept going after I shut it off because I was watching a show and I didn't want to have to provide music or mute so all right so you remember the house and then the next page is a um a picture of a this, I think this came out of Prim's magazine. I had an old Prim's that was a Christmas edition, so you're going to see a lot of the um, uh, pictures from the Prim's magazine in here. So this was a Santa Claus that somebody hand-sewed, and I thought he was beautiful. Although you probably could call him St. Nick or whatever you know your version is. This is striped felted Christmas paper. It was in a 6x6, so I cut it down and uh, glued it on here so he would stick out he would be the focal point although the background adds a lot but I think you see him a lot better I tried about six or eight different backgrounds and he looks much better on this one this page here is um, I, I got I think this was these little individual squares were the backs off of some kind of a paper pad or something and I cut the little squares and I really like them and I have a bow stamp that's a three layer bow stamp so I stamped bows on a bows, bunch of bows cut them out and then glued them on top of the box to make them look like presents so I just filled up a page with nothing but boxes and leftovers then um, I don't remember I think you might have seen me put him on here he just has card stock six by six piece of paper behind him with red hash marks on it this I think is also from Prim's magazine this is a 12 by 12 piece of this it's like scratchy looking red cardstock it's only one sided and I cut it down glued it on here and then took the picture from the Prim's magazine and glued it on there this, I think, was off a Christmas card, if I'm not mistaken, and I just thought it was so cute. So I got some leftover paper that I've used somewhere else in the book, the green background, and I cut up the Christmas card and cut out the most important parts and glued one on top of the other. This is the prim section. This is one of the prim Santa Claus that somebody uh, made out of... Um, I think he's made out of burlap or some kind of a heavy duty muslin and they painted his face on. And then this was one of the ones that opened. I might have to cut a divot in here so I can remember. Then I took um, striped paper out of this little pad I've had for years and years. I bought it at Hobby Lobby and I think I got like 50% off of it because the original price was nine bucks. And it's got a ton of different Christmas pattern paper in here. So I'll be using this a lot. So that's one of the papers that's in that pad for the background for this Santa, uh, Santa Claus, for this snowman. This is supposed to be a Mrs. something. She has a carrot nose. I think she's supposed to be a version of a female Santa uh, snowman and again this is dotted paper from that same pad there's that scratchy red looking cardstock and then there's a snowman on this side with more of that paper from the little paper pack then I had um, paper clipped this to try it out if I liked it so I cut it down I inked the edges because I was just a little bit shy so I inked the edges and then glued the Santa Claus and reindeers on there the back side has the music score or the score for a uh, silent night I think I don't know some Christmas song and then 
on the same page that I took it off of where I used, I guess, something else off the page. There was this blue strip here who had these no lovely dots just like we're on here. And I glued that at the bottom because this was a short piece. And again, I don't have a lot right here. There's a dip in it, but it's okay. And here is the background off of another piece that was somewhere else is in the book. The one that had the um, snap and the safety pin through it. And it says, yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. So I took a little tag. I cut the words out and cut them apart. I didn't make anything new, just glued it onto a tag. And this is the pocket that ha had a picture of the little girl. I didn't do anything to it. I just cut stuff out and I glued it on here. I might have to put some kind of a bow or something for the top of this. I don't know. We'll see. And then you remember the snowman that I was fiddling around with in the last video or one of the other videos. All right, so that's the first signature. Second signature, you remember these guys. I love how they flip up. And then I clipped on the Merry Christmas that I rounded the corners on. This was um, some kind of a card. The house was on a card by itself. And I cut the house out to make sure I wouldn't forget to save it. I'm sorry about the cat. And the words Merry Christmas were above the um, house. Hang on, let me open the door and let the cat out. Anyway, so I took some cardstock that I had that kind of blue matches, like the blue hue to this. And I'm... Um, I'm going to try to figure out how to arrange it on the page, but meanwhile, I wanted to paper clip it together so I don't lose the parts. A lot of this is still empty. There's something from Prim's Magazine, the little gingerbread um, stuffed... I don't want to say it's an animal, a little stuffed gingerbread man. That's it. That's good enough. And there's nothing else in here. Let's see. Oh, and in this one, there's another Prim's... And it's, um, I think he, his face is a wood carving. I don't know about the rest of him, but I had to cut his feet off because I couldn't, you know, they weren't going to fit. This was something I was gifted, and it was like a tape runner type thing, uh, a strip. So I just um, glued it on the little flip flap here, and I'm going to find something over here that'll go nicely with this. And then you already saw that I put the tree on, and that's this one. This one needs more work. All right, so that's where we are right now. And let me rubber band this back together before I lose all the moving pieces. So what I was looking at today were some of the things on these other pieces that I really liked, and I'm trying to figure out how to get them off without destroying it. I do like this piece here, but it's slanted, and I'm not sure it's going to fit on. I might have to turn him a different direction. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one so that I'm not going to use Santa Claus is coming to town because that, that might be, you know, valuable real estate. So let me see if I can square this up a little bit on the mat with the lines here my ruler there there we go so I'm gonna save this because there's a possibility I'm gonna use this and uh, these are not gonna come up easy I don't know these look like labels all right so we'll see how that goes but I probably am only gonna use this part here the ho 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 with the Santa and the reindeer. If I can figure out how to get it on a page without totally destroying the whole piece. So there's that one I'm saving. Now this one, I really love these little houses. They're just so stinking cute. But I don't have room to use all of them. So I'm thinking, you know the pages that I have that will bend? That there's, you know, the tip out, tip in thing? Where is there? Is there one in here? Aha! Here it is. So, I might take the back of this other signature here and this one and see if I can't cut the houses in half 
and then glue them close together to the um, seam. Let's see what we can do here. I don't want to destroy these houses. I just think they're so cute and I don't want to mess them up. I just don't know how to do this without cutting. And they got the little cotton for the smoke coming out the chimneys. All right, I might have to cut right here on the edge and that's going to destroy part of the house. Or I could just cut it down this way and that might do the trick. Okay. Let's see if I can peel this back. Man, she really glued these things together. She gets an A for gluing technique. So this is really thin here, but she glued it so that this would give this some stability. I think that's about all I'm going to get off of there. All right, so there's this one, and I might have to glue these down too. I don't know. I don't really want those on there, but, you know, I might have might have to deal with it. This Oh, look at that. Oh, I got lucky. Looky there. Eh, not bad. I was kind of worried about that. I'm just going to peel a little bit off here. And there's a little cotton. Let's see if this fits on a page. Let me close this before I cut myself. I would just be the nincompoop who would do it. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. You couldn't have asked for a more wonderful situation. I'm just going to have to trim a teen. Well, do I have to trim any off of it? Yeah, because it's going to interfere in the fold. So I've got to take, you know, this teeny bit here, the creep off of it. Um, phooey. Okay, so I think what I will do is I will take some scissors and cut. around here. And see if that doesn't fix my problem here. I really want to use this house, the houses. They're just so adorable. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, so I need something up here and if I cut this up I might be able to piecemeal the back so you can't let me cut this and then I can use whatever's left of this one uh, let me get a page to see if I can even use it there's no point in cutting it up if I can't use it I mean you know trying to save it yeah that's not gonna I'm not going to be able to get that on there because I'm going to cut off his legs. Shoot. I was so hoping. Ugh. There's got to be a way to use this. I just have to sit here and think about it for a second. Well, while I'm doing idleness, let me go ahead and cut this. And maybe I can figure out some way to do him as a fold out. Yeah, all right, so let me cut this straight here. Let me cut this. Let's put this out just a tad more so that I can kind of get a straight cut. These mats are great. I just never use them to measure and do that kind of stuff. I know other people do it, but I'm not very good at it. All right, so I'm going to glue this back down, even though it's heavy. Um, all right, so I'm not going to use this Santa Claus stuff. I guess it doesn't matter if I rip it off. Oh, well, look. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so maybe I can get this to come off nicely so that I can... Nope. Okie doke. I was so hoping. 
Um, I wanted this to come off so I could use it on the back of this page. Might not be necessary. Hello. I think this is going to work. Okay, so let's get a pencil and just mark right here and do it right about here. Let's see what we can come up with here. Let me find a smaller ruler. I think maybe I can make this work so I can fill in the background behind those houses because I don't want to leave it blank or the color of the cardstock. See, I like all this here. I just need to get rid of this. Maybe I can use this someplace else. So this will be set aside. And then where's my pencil mark? Uh, pencil mark. Here we go right here. So I'll do it a little bit deeper than what I intended so that I can get the word is off of there. I think I can pick it off. Oh, look at that. I have one fingernail. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. So I can move it up higher and then trim it off the page so I get the right height for it. So let's do, no, let's not. Let's do, do I don't want to do it there. Here. Whoops. I want to try to get it straight so I don't keep having a mess with, I'm not measuring anything. I'm just trying to get a straight line. Save that. All right, let's see what we got here. I can glue this, I think, to the top of the page. Put this at the bottom. Oh, I'm going to need every bit of it. So I'm going to glue it as close to the top of the page as I can. Let me use the small thing. Then clogs up real quick. And it's... Ugh. So I'm just going to apply... This is PVA glue in this thing. I love this glue, but... My stainless steel dressmaker pins still rust. It doesn't matter. This used to be have a yellow head on it, and somehow or another it's come off. All right, the words are right side up, so let's do this. See if we can't get this on here pretty straight. And then, ooh, cut that really too short. So I need to move this over and dent it a little bit this way and then glue it like that because this thing doesn't go all the way to the end so I can force it out this way. There we go. And then I have almost all the page covered up. Nice. And then we can still have the smoke and the stuff and I could put something here or I don't know something else on the page, but that's lovely. All right, so let me take some of this off. Whoops. Nope, going to not be able to get it off of that part. I'm not sure if she glued it or taped this stuff. I don't want to ruin the top. So let's go back the way I accidentally ripped it and see if I can keep it from ripping anymore. Not too shabby, huh? Okay, so now we need big glue. I've 
I've gotten two Christmas cards. I have not sent out any Christmas cards, and I'm sorry to those of you who are expecting one. Probably not going to get one this year. Just don't have it in me this year to do a bunch of Christmas cards. I'm, I probably will just send out to the people who send to me. Maybe you'll get a letter after New Year's. Happy New Year. This is my boring life letter. <laughs> I love hearing anybody else, everybody else's news because everybody else has so much more things to say than we do. <laughs> All right. So we'll tilt it a little bit this way. And we'll see a little bit of the edge, but it's not enough to get me upset. All right, and then I will just trim off this little doodad here. And I'm going to leave this part up here till it dries a little bit. There's that. All right, so what am I going to do about these guys? Ho hum. Oh, I hate to rip this up just for the blue paper on it. it just seems so cruel. <laughs> All right. I'm afraid I'm going to rip this and ruin it, so let me. Do small pieces off of it. Not, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so I don't know. I, I'll need a little strip at the top like I did the other one. That's not going to work that way. I might have to do it upside down where the words are upside down. I think that might work. I think it's going to work. I'm going to glue it down now before I change my mind. Because I'm hemming and hawing around and I'm burning up time. Alright, let's glue this down. And then I'll cut off the excess in a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to put... I need to clip these off because they're going to dangle out the bottom of the book. So I'm just going to give them a little haircut. There you go. And put, they really don't go with the rest of it. It's only on one side of it. But I'm going to glue this here. And then I'm going to piecemeal the end with whatever I can find. I want to fill it in with a blue to kind of match the other side. So I think work with the pencil and then cut a little bit on the far side. If I can see the pencil mark. I think it was right there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. I pushed my light upwards so you guys wouldn't be blinded and then I can't see. I need for it to slide underneath the houses. So I'm going to glue this down. So it'll fill in the gap. And I might lay words along the, the height up and down of the houses to kind of detract from the fact that it doesn't all match. Can I open this? Yes. Okay. How far? Yeah. There we go. Let me push this up a little higher so it overlaps. And that's fine. And then the words here might have to go here. And then all I would need was just would be just a teeny bit more from 
Hmm. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm so tempted, but don't do it, Piggy. Don't do it. All right. Let me just glue this. And that way, I'm, I feel a little bit better about how that little tiny house, where is the little tiny house? Ooh! So I will, look, I will feel a little bit better about how it sits on here. Oh, look, there's a gap. No! Oh. All right, so let me take this. I'm going to glue that over there. I don't know if this was a napkin or what it was. It was a book. It has print on it. All right, so let's kind of fill that in right there. And... some of this because wow that really does look piecemeal doesn't it <laughs> holy crud can I scoot this I wonder if I can scoot that up and let me pull some of this off of here the thickness There we go. All right, so let me move this up here. I think that would be a lot better than the other stuff, don't you? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna glue over what I just glued down. <laughs> Outstanding. A well thought out plan falls apart right in front of your face. Um, how about we do it like this so that we cover up that blank spot. All right, let's try this. All right, there's that. Boy, this looks really funky on the side. It definitely looks like collage on the side. I don't know what else I can take off of here. I don't really want to cut anything else off, but I want the snowy stuff to finish this piece. That's trash. <laughs> All I'm doing is using bits and pieces to collage snow. Oh my goodness, it's just going from bad to worse. Work with me here. All right, let's glue this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's glue this down to cover up that part. Let's see how we're doing here. And then we'll glue this right here just in case you can still see around it wow this is the definition of piecemeal <laughs> it is. I'll be calling that a Christmas collage <laughs> I'm gonna find my pin Get that in there before this clogs up because it'll dry up too sweet. Okay, so I think we can do this. We need a bush. <laughs> Definitely needs a bush. All right, so we're going to glue this down so that we can put me out of my misery. It's not squeezing on here very well. And I cleaned it up yesterday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it doesn't help if I turn it upside down and put all the glue on the mat. Let me 
make sure it's glued on the sides really well on the top and the bottom so it doesn't flip up. All right. Let's put this here. And I know I have holly leaves somewhere else. I should probably not have cut these off because they might be beneficial for right here. Oh, look. A detractor. <coughs> Let's see if we can get him on here. Whoops, nope. All right, let's put him here. So he detracts a little bit from the messiness on the side. Uh, what else do we have here? All right, these guys definitely can't be done that way, but there's a flat edge on this one right here. Can I put him up there like that? Why, yes I can. Even though he doesn't fit there? Uh, wait. No. Looks even worse. Okay. Let's put that there. And now I need to find, see there you go, and then it'll be sewn down the middle. So it'll be a kind of continuous sort of thing. I've got to find some kind of an embellishment that will tie both pages together so they look cohesive. At least I got the blue kind of going through the whole thing. This will have to be the middle section of the signature because it won't make any sense that there's some houses on one side and some houses flipped over to a, two or three different pages. It won't make any sense at all. So this will have to be the inside. This will have to go here and this will go here. There we go. So then when you open it up in the middle or like this, it will make sense. Yeah, I think that'll do it. All right, so there's that. Phew, that took forever. That was like doing surgery. Oh, that was. It was definitely was surgery. Okay, so this can't be trimmed, can it? Because that's a, no, it can be trimmed off just a hair. Because now it's going to really stick out. Oh, I can't do it because I love snow days. Well... I might have to shave a little off the love for snow days. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so now we have this like this. We have this one, this one, this one, this which goes inside here, which this will have to go inside there. And let's see how we're doing with it on the book. Not bad. What's this sticking out over here? Oh, that's the stuff I have paper clipped in. Okay, oof. Alrighty, so there's that. Um, need something for here. I really want to use this, but I don't think I I might have to turn this this way to get it all in, and I, I will have to amputate. <laughs> I need to get on the deer legs. <laughs> no. All right, let's see. Can we turn him this way? No, we cannot. All right. So he is not going in this signature. It's a possible. He could go in this one if I can find two pages together where I can 
open it up. Nope. No. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, I don't want to sew down the middle of that. I think that would totally ruin it. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get all this. I'm going to have to trim off his legs. But she's dreaming about Santa Claus coming. And I think this is appropriate for this page. So this is where this one's going to go as soon as I figure out how to not to do an amputation of a deer's leg. All right. The part of, of a hunter is being played by... Hmm... All right, so now I'm going to have to figure out how to cover all this up. I'm looking through the pilfered, I've, you know, gone through the pile to see if I have any other papers that she did that I can use for a background that's similar to this one. I don't... I don't see any that I can use. And I don't have... Wait... What's this? If I got the blue off of here, I could take this and cut this and then... I don't know. That looks kind of cheesy. All right, forget that. Yeah. See, that's why I make my videos and edit heavily. <laughs> because nothing goes right and you don't want to have to put everything on film that you decide. I mean, honestly, these videos are long enough as it is. What is this? Oh, it's too dark. Whale well, heck. Okay, well, let me paper clip him in here and that way I can remember what page I'm going to put him on later. I have to give this some more thought. I'm not digging how it's looking so far. So let me put him in here and then I'll come back later and try to figure it out. Maybe off camera because it might take me a while to finagle him in there. All right, what else can I do? I, listen, I'm very happy I got the little houses in there. I don't want to lose all her work. She has some really cute stuff in there. I need some kind of a thing, right? Some kind of a silent night. I don't know. I have this box that I put all the miscellaneous doodads in when I was cleaning off the desk so I could actually see it before I went to bed last night. And I found some cool stuff in here. I was laying on the desk that I completely forgot to use. I like these blue ones. That's pretty. This is pretty. And um, now I need to go back and use some of it. There's that Santa Claus I want to use on another page. Here is that holly stuff. It's very sticky. Very sticky. All right, let's see if I can incorporate that in the house page. At the bottom of this one. Oh, heck yeah. Why not? It'll make the whole thing a little more cohesive. Yeah, that'll do it. That that way, both pieces kind of look the same. They may not be exactly matched up, but I think that this needs to go with this. Or I could put it down the side. No. No? No. Okay. So... Oh, she taped it. I can see the marks where the tape was. All right, so let's see. What are we going to do here? We're going to glue this on the bottom right now and let it dry. 
and then I will cut it with the uh, knife when it's done drying so that it fits on there. And then I'll um, trim up the hollies or, or glue them down a little bit more so they don't stick out so bad because every time you close it something snags. All right, so we're going to put that on there and let that dry. So now the piece looks a little more cohesive. The only problem is, is I, I don't like all this here. I'm not really sure I want to take this stuff and piecemeal that down the side. I feel like I need to have a saying or some words or something down the side there. It will work. I will make it work. <laughs> I will make it work. Alrighty. Let me do some finagling. Alright, as you can see when I cut it, I'm missing some of the berries off of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to glue it on here on the bottom so that there are berries on both sides of the picture. It doesn't have to be even. Matchy, matchy. But I'm going to try. <laughs> We're going to give it the old college try. Okay, how about... Uh, yep, that'll do it. When it's right, you know it, glue it. I don't know if I want to glue these completely flat. We'll see how it goes when I go to close the book and stuff hangs up. All right, what else do I want on here? Do I need another one? I think I do. So I'm going to take this side of this one. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Do I need it here? Hmm. No, it needs berries, but I just don't know which one to cut. All right, let's just cut this one. And then we'll improvise from there. Man, this stuff's really sticky. Alrighty. Yeah. And... I go around the berries without taking them out. There we go. Now to figure out where to put them. Looks a little weird sitting there, doesn't it? No, it'll have to look weird. Because I don't have too many options here on this little page. Sorry, I have a straight pin in my mouth. Nope. Okay. So now we have two bunches of berries on each side. And... I'm going to have to look later and dig through a bunch of words and things and see if I can't find something that goes up and, whoops, goes up and down here. So that it looks better. Because of all this piecemeal-y stuff there, I want to detract from that by putting something that will take the eye away from the collage mismatched them, scare them, piece them together. <laughs> okay, wow, that's just one page, and look what time it is. Oh yeah, this is too long. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, and I'm going to do a couple things off camera, because I need to look for some words, and then um, figure out how to put this on there. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm sorry this was all about one page, basically. I didn't get a whole lot done, but this one was like surgery. So I will see you guys in the next video, and I will show you the progress I made when the camera wasn't running. <laughs>